Josh, were it a case of so near but so far today at Hull KR? Yeah, I think we've come really close. Uh, lads were disappointed at change room, which is always a good sign in a way. You know, we know we've come here and put a decent performance in and we really think we could have got a result. So it's upsetting in a way. But always next, uh, always Monday, I suppose, put it right. We're uh, very disappointed in there and uh, obviously it's a quick turnaround to come to go Monday as well. But um, there's some disappointed boys in there because it's a game that we felt that um, we should have won. So we're quite disappointed. Uh, yeah, I think we had them on the ropes. Um, they just got lucky, two plays. Uh, an offload and went to their hands, uh, and a clear knock-on that ref didn't see and they give a try. Going into this game, if you'd have looked at the Featherstone Rovers team on paper, with the injuries and suspensions that uh, Featherstone Rovers had got to, to choose that 17 from, you would have said coming to Hull KR, a full-time team, that had been up against it. Yeah, we, we we knew it was going to be tough, but the likes of Kai, I thought Kyron Johnson today were absolutely outstanding. Um, he hadn't played for a while, and to come in, into a big game like this, and especially the kicks that he uh, received and he got put under pressure, he, he, I thought he was magnificent. And all the other boys who came in as well, Scotty Turner got us on the front foot, um, stuff like that. So the little things we was really good at, but just a couple of things we need to be a bit smarter in. Um, I've, I've held my hand up for, for throwing that pass and then the interception, but um, I suppose it's, it's one of them things and we've got to go again Monday. So, um, yeah, we are disappointed, but we're happy at the same time. And despite us losing, uh, did you enjoy it out there? Uh, yeah, it was good to be back out there. I mean, it's been a long time since I was out there, so I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, it's a uh, good um, strength in depth for the club. Everyone does. We're, we're all singing off the same uh, song sheet in a way. We players, everyone can just come in and do the same job. So we've got players who come in, but don't look out of place at all. So it's really good uh, for the team, yeah. A tough game for you to come in here at Hull KR, isn't it? A tough debut. 2017? Uh, yeah, it was tough, but I think I, I was quite relaxed. Um, I knew, knew my role all, all through the week, just knew what I had to do and just concentrated on my game rather than running around like an headless chicken ready for ball in my hand. And we were just talking about you in the post-match press conference with John Sharp and he, he, he singled you out again saying that you'd uh, played well and that you never take a, a step backwards, you know, you don't get phased whatever stage that you're on. I don't know, it's like playing rugby, it's just it's all the same to me, just turn up and catch a ball and run, hopefully, yeah, that's my plan, so, get my looks, my looks are taking a bit of a battering now, but, so I might have to retire soon, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to hear all the time, yeah, hopefully, carry on Monday and see how we go there. And Tim Sheen's just in the post-match press conference has actually given credit to Featherstone Rovers and said that all KR were l lucky to win that game, so, he felt at 15 minutes away from the end of the game that Featherstone could have kicked on and won it. Yeah, well, we believe that. At half time, we thought if we come out and keep doing the same that we did in the first half, um, especially with a win behind us backs as well, that we had a real good chance. And just the start of the game as well that, that just got us that, that little bit. They, I think it was the first set they scored in the first half and the first set in the second half they scored. They're just the little things, but we need to focus and be a little bit better in them areas. And we'll just be talking about the Featherstone Rovers fans uh, out there behind the sticks. And uh, even though they were smaller in number than the Hulk AR fans as a player, could hear them all game, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'd say they were a lot louder. But I mean, I think when we got on top, the OK, OK our fans turned on their own team and started moaning at the ref. Our fans just got behind us for the full 80 minutes. Crowd today, the Featherstone Rovers fans really loud, were the uh, All the players came at the end and, and thanked them. And it must have been excellent for them to, to hear that uh, at this big stadium here today. Yes, especially with, with the crowd that they've got as well. They uh, they were very loud today, but I thought the Featherstone fans were, were absolutely outstanding. You could hear them throughout the game and to, for them to travel in numbers, especially um, over here in Hull as well, is, uh, is good by them. And I hope they get down on Monday and support us as well. Bradford, Easter Monday. Another tough uh, side, isn't it? Their, their league position is a little bit false because of that minus 12 uh, deduction that they had. So it's going to be a tough one, isn't it, on Monday? But in terms of the Featherstone Rovers fans, you'll be wanting to get them down and singing loud and proud like they did today here at OKR. Yeah, fans were awesome again today. You can hear them all the time. We'd say there were about probably 8,000 OKR fans and not many Fev fans, but you know, you'd thought it was the other way around. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get a few down and uh, get the win, see how we go on Monday and uh, hopefully we've got a good atmosphere again. A few bumps, but we'll, we'll be right for, uh, for Monday and, and it's a, it's a must-win game for us and we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to go.